So as we get started, um, I want um, to foster some conversation throughout the day about what you see as some of the current challenges um, that uh, the field faces, not necessarily negative challenges, but challenges nonetheless. Um, the obvious being this sort of onslaught of technologies um, that provide more choices and resources, but also more complications to practice. We also just had a training program director's retreat um, that Lori and I attended in Denver. And one of the main topics of conversation were, was workforce issues. We all believe we're probably on the cusp, very, very much maybe even just over the cusp of having more job openings than we are graduating trained genetic counselors and we anticipate that that will escalate. So some brainstorming, just very beginning brainstorming about what needs to be done to meet needs and how we do that without compromising quality and standards and how we can be a little bit more innovative about training counselors. So I'd love to hear some conversation about that. And then um, you guys can all make fun of me, but I'm a very huge fan of this new article that Janine Austin just published in the Journal of Genetic Counseling. It will not surprise you because the title is um, something to the effect that it's the psychotherapeutic aspects of genetic counseling that are going to maintain our profession in the era of genomics. She said it more succinctly. And she just came and talked at our um, clinical supervisors meeting and we just had a fantastic dynamic a discussion about that article and the themes that she's putting forward. Uh, but obviously there are many challenges um, related to that as well. Does anybody want to, uh, oh, and we can't ignore, um, although I always like to try billing and reimbursement um, because finances are a big part of our future. Does anybody want to throw out a couple more um, before Julie gets started? Oh, I have one um, that I think might be Good to have in the background. So I'm on the practice guidelines committee for um, NSGC, and I would say that Christina Palmer from UCLA is doing some really, really amazing things um, in collaboration with Deep D Babu too, um, on the guidelines committee to move the field towards actual evidence-based guidelines that are actually about genetic counseling. Um, and this is a really great idea, but the shortage is with the evidence, right? Um, and so what's probably gonna happen for several years is that we won't have any guidelines. We'll have a lot of, hopefully, systematic evidence reviews that can feed guidelines, but um, I think this is a really great group to be making a contribution to thinking about how we're gonna get to the point of actually having evidence-based guidelines that inform the practice of genetic counseling. Yeah. 